An open wound is any break in the skin, from a pin puncture to an amputation. And it may be only the surface evidence of a more complex and serious injury. The first aid treatment for an open wound is to stop the bleeding and to prevent infection. Repair of the wound should be left to a doctor. In first aid, open wounds are divided into four classifications. Abrasions. Removal of a portion of the skin caused by rubbing or scraping. Incisions, smoothly cut wounds without bruising or tearing, produced by a sharp cutting edge, such as a knife, glass, metal, or sharp edge of coal or rock. Lacerations, wounds with ragged edges that have been torn or mashed by blunt objects, machinery, or rough surfaces. And punctures. Wounds that have been produced by pointed instruments such as needles, nails, splinters, or pieces of wire. To prevent infection when treating a wound, use a sterile gauze. Wipe any loose foreign particles from the wound. Wipe away from the wound, not toward it. Do not touch the wound with your hand or anything that is not sterile. Do not try to cleanse the wound with water or drugs. Do not attempt to remove a foreign object embedded in the wound. Leave all this for the doctor. If there is severe bleeding from an artery, always control it immediately by digital pressure. Use a constricting bandage to control bleeding while the wound is dressed. Place a sterile bandage compress or sterile gauze over the wound and tie it in place. Bandage wounds snugly but never tightly. A bandage that is too tight may interfere with the blood supply to surrounding tissue. Make all sterile dressings wider than the wound. These dressings should then be protected by an outer dressing or cover bandage made from a cravat or triangular bandage. Since swelling often follows injury, the bandage must be checked to detect any interference with circulation. Wet bandages should never be applied to an open wound except when treating burns. In cases where major arteries have been severed or where there is partial or complete amputation, it may be necessary to use a tourniquet. Shock usually follows wounds, especially if much blood is lost. Therefore, the victim should also be treated for shock. To treat an abrasion, apply a sterile bandage compress over the area of the wound. Pass the ends several times around the hand and wrist and tie them over the pad in the palm. Place the center of a cravat bandage over the pad. Bring one end around the little finger side the other end between the thumb and forefinger, cross the ends well back on the palm and bring them around the wrist. Tie the ends at the back of the wrist. To treat an incision, apply the pad of a sterile bandage compress or sterile gauze over the wound. In this case, pass the ends of this bandage diagonally around the body. Cover with a cravat bandage. Do this by centering the cravat bandage on the side nearest the injury, taking the ends across the back and abdomen or chest, and then tying. A laceration is the third type of wound. To treat such a wound, apply the pad of a sterile bandage compress over it, carry one end down the side of the face and under the chin, and the other end over the top of the head. Cross the ends at the opposite temple in front of the ear. Carry the ends around the front and back of the head and tie them over or near the compress pad. The compress is then covered by a cravat bandage applied in the same manner.
The fourth type of open wound to be treated is a puncture wound. Apply the pad of a sterile bandage compress to the wound, carry the ends around the foot and ankle, and tie over the compress pad. Using a cravat bandage for cover, center it over the compress and carry the ends around the foot and ankle, ending in a tie as near the front of the ankle as possible. If there is arterial bleeding of the hand, it should be controlled by digital pressure over the brachial pressure point. If a constricting bandage is used, it should be applied over uninjured tissue above and as near the wound as possible or if a tourniquet is used, it can be applied over the nearest applicable pressure point above the injury. Although there are different kinds of open wounds and different degrees of seriousness, the important thing to remember is that the greatest dangers with all open wounds are loss of blood and infection. Therefore, the aim of first aid treatment is to stop the bleeding and apply protective dressings or bandages to help control the bleeding and to screen out bacteria which may cause infection. Closed wounds are injuries that occur without breaking the skin. The damage occurs to underlying tissue. Bruises are treated by elevating the affected part and by applying ice bags or cold towels. This will help to limit swelling and decrease pain. Strains occur when muscles or tendons have been overworked or stretched. Treatment is to increase circulation in the area by applying hot applications to reduce the pain. Sprains are injuries that result when muscles, ligaments, and other tissue around a joint are stretched and torn. For treatment of a sprain, use cold applications such as compresses wrung out in cold water or ice packs to relieve the pain. Ruptures or hernias are injuries that result from a combination of weakness of the tissues of the abdomen wall and muscular strains. The patient is treated by bandaging him while he is lying on his back with his knees well drawn up. If the patient must be moved, keep him in this position. As in the treatment of all open wounds, Persons suffering from closed wounds should receive medical attention as soon as possible.